awesome. You can have a seat. I'm going to tell you a story. How many of you enjoyed seeing Israel and John Bauer tonight? had a blast. We actually got to tour together last spring on the Hands of God tour and then um, getting to have everybody back out on this this run has been really fun. So I'm glad y'all had a good time. Um, I want to tell you about this next song that I wrote actually nine years ago after backing into a lawyer's car in her driveway. So that was about as fun as it sounds. And I was driving home crying out to the Lord, like, why we God, how did this happen to me? And then I realized it was totally my fault because I heard a crunch and I thought it was her trash can and I just kept going. <laughs> Kids, it's not okay to run over trash cans because they'll turn out to be SUVs. <laughs> so I'm driving home and I'm really just upset and I'm crying and I'm praying and I'm like, Lord, how did I make this mistake? And I felt like for the first one of the very important first times in my life, God just downloaded this song into my life. And it's like he just gave it to me. I started singing it out of nowhere, and it, it made me feel better. And so when I got home, I told my parents, I wrote a new song, and I hit someone's car, but let me play the song for you. <laughs> Not worked out a little bit, okay? <laughs> and anyway, over the last nine years, God has used this song to continue to speak into my life and just minister to me because this is a message that I need to hear and that is that God doesn't love me for what I can do for him and that he's not looking for perfection but he loves me because I'm his child and he's created me um, to be free and to be myself and he loves me you know it's it's crazy to think that I don't know why in my personality it's so easy for me to think okay someone will love you when you do everything right and when they you know when you never mess up, then then you can earn. It's like just. I'm, I'm very black and white. Things have to be just and fair. And so in my life, it, it doesn't make sense in my mind why God loves me unconditionally. But this song has been a testimony for how God has freed me from that lie of believing that I had to prove my love to him or earn his love. And now that I'm a mom of two, I understand a little bit more why he loves us just because we're his children. Aren't you so glad that's the truth tonight?
Perfection 